Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GTS Battle Balls Reactions. All I gotta say is one thing. This pay-per-view was lit, man. It to me it it was better than John Sacky Heat. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm gonna go over every match with you guys. Was that Ultimate Warrior unveiled? Who won? Well, I thought the match, everything. So please, guys, please, if you guys watching this, I'll put my Twitter somewhere on this video. If you want, you guys want to follow me on Twitter, it's up there for you guys. Don't hesitate, please do. We get, we guys get to stay up to date on every video that I make. And please hit that thumbs up and comment down below on what you guys thought of the matches. If you guys watched the pay-per-view. Alright. Now. First match. We start things off with. The U2 Wrestling Figures Heavyweight Championship. Some some sitting here saying. Alright so. Grim Nine in the main event. He's opening the show. So I'm thinking to myself. Okay so. Who would be the main event? We will get to that. But I got my notes here, guys. And I, all I gotta tell you is this was one of the best matches. One of them. Keyword, one of them. One of the best matches that Tony and Grim ever been in. Period. Grim surprised me in this match. He showed some athleticism, guys. Like this guy was flying, like literally all over the place. I'm not saying he was like, like cruiserweight type flying, but for for a big dude, he was actually showing some athleticism, guys, and I, I, I was shocked. And Enrol, he he brought it tonight. He brought it. Period. They they kicked this off right. But what? But now. Well, I took for this match, I thought that in my prediction video that Lance was going to be the one to cause Grim the match. But no. Nunzio caused Grim the match. He caused Grim the match. Tony Emerald retains the title. Then Grim offers, opened up the channels to Nunzio for Sucker Slam. So I'm guessing we about to get Grim versus Nunzio at Sucker Slam. Should be a good match. Should be. But what I took from this is. Who will challenge Emerald? Please guys. Leave a comment down below. Who you think going to challenge Emerald? Okay, at this point. I don't know. I had no idea. Who would it be? Let me know. But good match by the way. So. Next match we have. Is a balls count anywhere. But Robbie E and followed by. Now I want to say this very quickly. I last match I predicted that Tony will retain. I was right. This match, I was right again. Robbie E win this match with the help from the Wampus. Who followed me on Twitter by the way? Shout out to Wampus. Robbie E got help from the Wampus, which surprised me. Like it was just random. It was just out of nowhere. I I, I inspected at first, but at, like when I first, but, but then when the match was, was starting, guys, I was kind of like suspecting it, but I I didn't think he was gonna do it. I don't think this is like a hill turn for Wampus whatsoever. I just think he just helped Robbie win the match. But was this match good? Yes. Was it comical? As always, yes. This one match I I advise you guys to watch because this this was a good one, believe it or not. <laughs> and as usual, Robbie always makes me laugh, man. All his matches, man. <laughs> B two guys from a good match. Robbie gets the wins I predicted, so good win for Robbie E. Now, next match we have Doom Crew versus Swat City. Now, as you guys know, Swat City was nowhere to be seen. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know why he didn't show up. But I got a feeling that Doom Crew had something to do with it. 
Because before they showing dude crew laughing and giggling like they did something to Swat City. Like they took them out of the equation. So they couldn't face anybody. But literally did they know they had to face Jimmy and Grimm. This is once again Grimm being the super saiyan that he is putting himself in the match. I got no problem with that sometimes. But this time he had to do that. I guess he just wanted to add tag team match into the equation. So I was okay with it. This it, this man actually kicked off great. And, and for a moment, I actually thought that Jimmy and Grimm was going to win the titles. Until, all of a sudden, we see the red Miss Dragon herself, Hillwife. Hillwife comes and distracts Grimm before he about to deliver the final blow. Just because Grimm forgot to do the chores at home. Now, I don't know if this is Hill Wife just, just, just want Grimm just to lose every time or she as he literally just all of a sudden just appears out of nowhere every time this happens. But I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I got a feeling Dog Cat is doing this on purpose. In my opinion, she's doing this on purpose because there's no way she ironically just appears in every match that Grimm's be in for a title match to be exact. Now, she ain't paying the first one, but she paid in this one. Every time Manabo's in a match. Now, let's make that clear. Manabo. Every time Manabo's in a match with Grimm, it, it always happens. Every time. It's only when Grimm's in there. So, I'm assuming that's the reason. But, because of the distraction, Doom Crew retains the championship. I know a lot of people saw it because they want to see Jimmy become champion again. But... It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Even though Jimmy won't put being in the match anyway, it was Swat City's ch opportunity, which I believe that they will get at Sucker Slam because they ain't get it here, in my opinion. Now, next match. To me, this was the best loser weight title match, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is, best match of the night in my eyes. Kurt Bell versus Hollywood Hooligan. To me, these guys tore the house down. No question. They brought it tonight. Kurt Bell, you, I, I'm become more believe out of you and Hollywood Hooligan. You, you open my eyes, man. These two open my eyes, real quick. Grim, if you watch this. I, I beg you, please book this match at Sucker Slam. We need a decisive winner. Because it made me so angry when all of a sudden all of a sudden Dalton put himself in the match. I had no idea why he did that, but it ruined everything for me. Like I I was actually upset about this. Cause this was a good match. If you got if if please tell me, tell me if, if you watch this pay-per-view, you can't say this wasn't the best match of the night. You can say either this match or the next one I'm about to talk about. This was the best match of the night. And Dalton ruined it. So, his, his how things went. Dalton put himself in the match. All of a sudden, he served himself in the match. And both Kurt Bell and Hyrule Hogan pins Dalton. And now he is the new loser belt loser again. It, and then he, he was smiling like he wanted to be a loser belt loser. At first, he, he just wanted to get rid of it so much. But I guess it was so attached to him, he, he just wanted it back so bad. He got he just, he just he loved the feeling of being a loser, so I guess he wanted it back. But Grum need to book this match for Sucker Slam. It's no question. He has to book it. We need a winner. Like, these guys should not face each other at all until Sucker Slam. That's my opinion on that. That's all I'm going to say. But best match of the night, you guys killed it. Shout out to both of y'all. Now, this was my odds in my odds the second best match of the night. We got Joe and Oliver and the two new guys, which I had their names right here so I can remember them. Ellis Taylor and Griffin, I didn't think I guess his name was Griffin McCoy. These two these three guys tore the house down. No question. And let me let me remind you guys, this match was all for a toy. Now, if this was for a championship, it would fall a little more important. This, this match should have been for a title, not for a freaking toy. 
I got no, I got no problem with Toy whatsoever. But a match like this should have been for a title. These guys tore the house down, just like Kurt Bell and Hollywood Hooligan. And my, they were the best match of the night. This match was awesome, guys. Oh my God, this was just awesome. And that, that any match I recommend you watching so far as I'm watching this is this match and the loser belt match. No question. Oh, and also the Grim match. That that match was cool too. But the match pulling uh he got put to the house down. Who wins? Jordan Oliver, as I predicted. You guys see my prediction video. You guys see that I predicted this one. I'm 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 on fire so far, guys. I got every match right. I mean, even though Dalton ruined ruined my uh pick with that match, I don't count that one because Dalton asserts over the match, so that don't count. But every other match, I predict right. Even though Jimmy and Grimm uh was in the tag team match, I still predicted that Doom Crew will retain. No question. So so far, I'm, I'm right on everything. Next with the hardcore tie match. This match was good. All I can say is good match. And uh Kirby retains the title as I predicted once again. But can someone please tell me who that new guy was in that match? I I, I don't know who that guy is. They never said his name. But if any of you guys know him, please let me know down in the comments because I, I would like to know who that is. I apologize if, uh, if I don't know who that is, but I don't know who he was. And they never said his name, so but good match, regardless. So, next, we have the all for Tommy match. Let, let, let me say one thing about Tommy, man. Tommy is a great heel. He's a way better heel than the face. No question. When he was a face, he was boring. He was dull. I did not like Tommy when he was a face. I didn't like it. And, and I also didn't like his wrestling ability. But to me, it's like when Tommy's a heel, he's more, he's a, one, he's aggressive Two, he's like he's more freely in that ring, and he he just a he to me he he's bad. It's good that he's like this because it making me a believer of Tommy, shockingly. And I'm one and I'm one of those guys who criticize Tommy, but Hill Tommy has been great. You can't deny that, guys. And Jay, you you guys are you guys already know how I feel about Jay the Key Evans, man. If you guys haven't seen my top 10 uh, GTS wrestlers, go check that out on my channel right now. Great video. What cool, what, what, what cool music, by the way. Sorry for the stuttering. But these guys put on a good match. I thought it was going to be bad because of Tommy, but no. Tommy surprised me in this match, man. He surprised me very much in this match. Who won this match? Tommy, as I predicted. Tommy retains the all for Tommy title. Then all of a sudden we see Sprinkles attacks Tommy and holds the title up. So you got to put two and two together as a why Sprinkles did that. I'm guessing, I'm assuming he wants the title. The Tommy's title. Now, this match was a letdown for me. Because this match could have been so much better than it was. Cletus versus Bonifer. Now, f for the GTS title. Now, I want to state this. This match was made on the pre-show. If you guys have uh, seen the pre-show. Now, the reason why this match was so bad, it wasn't because of the two guys that was in the ring. It because of Jimmy's ob obsession with wanting the GTS title back. He kept coming into the match and just ruining everything. And because of that reason... Bonifer wins. I mean, I'm not saying Bonifer won because of Jimmy, but th that's the reason why he won. And Cletus all of a sudden just turned into this. As the match was over, he was like this. Simple. Now, next match, we have a Jefe Rojo versus the Mark. Now, this kind of confused me. Let me explain first. Let me explain the math first. I'll, I'll, I'll say what I mean. Uh, we have a half a row hole in the ring. And all of a sudden, and, and the match was going on. Then all of a sudden, we see Doohop. Yes, Doohop comes. 
He takes the guy with the he El Jefe mask, takes him to the back, beats him up. We don't know what's going on, but we hear a lot of noise back there. All of a sudden, we see Duha comes out with his mask, um, attacks the mark, um, pins him with the, uh, I, I, I think the move called the Duha drop. One, two, three, Duha is the new United States champion, the five-time United States champion, my dad. Congratulations, Duha. Or oh, I have to roll, I'm sorry. But to me, I don't know if if Duha planned this or this was the Marks plan. If you gotta watch the pay per view, please let me know down in the comments because I had no idea who planned it. It seemed as though it it it, it could have been on Hefe, but then again, the Mark could have planned this too. So so let me know. I, that, I that's what I got from that. So then we have what match is that? We have the million dollar title match, which was made on the pre-show as well. Because if you guys seen the match, we saw Cleveland versus Joe Wolf uh, for the number one contendership for the GTS title. Obviously, Cleveland won. Now, all of a sudden, we see Joe Wolf put up his title against uh, Matt Castle because he's obsessed with being on the show, just like Matt Castle is. Take off from this, Matt Castle wins. The million dollar championship for one thing. And two. All of a sudden we see Joe Wolf. Go from this. For being the almighty. Intercontinental championship. And the million dollar championship. To nothing. Joe Wolf is sinking. And he's sinking fast. He's sinking. He was up here. Now he's down here. Sorry Joe Wolf. Down here now, I guess, I guess now he to that point where he's a desperate man. So now the question is, what's going to happen next with that? What's going to happen? I don't know. And finally, guys, the last match of the night, the main event, we have J.J. Adams versus Kid Christian. This match was awesome, as I knew it was going to be, because these two guys can go. Especially Kid Christian. I already pray uh, Kid Christian. Even on Twitter. And I, and I told him, bro. He he tweeted that. What match you'd like to see me in? And I tweeted him this. We need to see you and Jimmy. And in, in, in like in a main. Like. A, tra a main attraction match. Whatsoever for a title. For either a US title or an Intercontinental title. Simple. He liked that tweet. So I'm, I'm assuming he, he liked that idea. That's all I'm going to say about that. But these guys killed it. But take off from this. Who won it? Kid Christian retained the title. Now, this is the only match I got wrong. Period. I thought JJ was going to win the title because he just turned heel. You know? Just turned heel. Win the championship. You know? Scenario. Put two and two together. But all of a sudden, we see some big, tall guy like Seven, like he looks like he's at least near seven feet tall, a task kid Christian. But now the question is, why? Why did he do that? And who is he? I had no idea. But overall, this pay view was great. Is it better than Giant Sack of Heat? Yes. Is it better than uh, Fool in the Fridge? I'm going to say they're about even because Fool in the Fridge still was lit. But it was definitely better than Giant Sack of Heat. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please, if you can, um, follow me on Twitter. You know, um, hit that subscribe button if you can. Hit that thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys thought of the show, man. I would really like to know. And always, guys, stay safe, be cool, and remember, if you gotta watch the video from start to finish. You are a beast. And I'll see you guys later.